because your attention is on the watcher. You're being the watcher. And the subtle things that changes your mood, you're becoming aware. A very, very subtle stuff. Now you can see them too, how they change your moods, how they take you, control you, make you react to things. They can trigger you with these fears or whatever, or whatever comes. And as you're just refining yourself by simply staying in your seat, you're staying in this place of simple observation. Simply not giving in into getting involved with whatever is going on. Life wants to pull you, get you involved with politics, with the issues of the day, with COVID-19, with global warming, global changing, blah, blah, blah. There's all these things dancing in front of you and trying to pull you out of your center, but you're refusing to come out of your center. You are committed to stay into this position of simply being an observer, being a witness, not getting involved with what you're witnessing, not getting involved with the story that is happening in your head or surrounding you. Awareness is coming. You're not being no longer a robot that you can get triggered and react because that's what you have done all your life, reacting to what triggers you. Now you're staying in this place of no reaction. You refuse to react to whatever. Someone comes and tells you you're an asshole. Someone comes and tells you you're atheist. Someone will come and tell you you're a traitor. Someone will come and tell you that you're a bad mom, you're a bad person, you're whatever. You're irresponsible. You are practicing absolutely committed to not reacting and not getting involved with anything except staying focused and your commitment to simply being the witness and nothing else. Something you've never committed to, yet your heart is pure. You're sincerely seeking love, truth, inner peace, and God. But you never committed to simply being the witness. And now you're doing that. Because you have nothing to lose. This is free and doesn't ask you for anything. It doesn't ask you to change your hairstyle. It doesn't ask you to become a nun or celibate or go move to India or go to a Buddhist monastery. Change your diet. Give up your family, your loved ones. It doesn't ask you these things. It has no requirements. Nothing externally needs to change. Accept your commitment to being still and not reacting 
to nothing, anything in the outer world and anything in your inner world. You are simply staying at this place, still. Like a ninja Jedi, still. Firmed in your position of the witness. And then the fourth stage happens automatically. Every awakened being arrived in this place. If others have done it, you can do it too. If there are people who have liberated themselves in this life and they came to full realization and they realized inner peace and they found the kingdom of heaven within themselves, they came to ultimate happiness then you can do it too. The fourth stage happens that you are utterly aware of all the movements that are happening internally in you. Your thoughts, your emotions, your body, and you're just watching. And as this trans transaction is happening, this transition of a movement from the head, from analytical thinking to simply being, it's a journey that takes place. You're migrating. It's a migration. It's a shift in your consciousness. An expansion is taking place. Something's opening up through being the witness, through being quiet. You're still. You're silent. You're not getting involved in any stories. You're not getting involved in any debates. You're not trying to prove your opinion to anybody. You're not trying to convert anyone or asking for anyone's approval because you don't care. You are only focusing on being the witness and being still and being quiet, ignoring everything else selfishly. And then you will discover a quantum leap happens. A shift in your consciousness happens through this expansion and this opening. You begin to discover yourself into the center of awareness, in the center of yourself. Awareness becoming aware of itself. An expansion starts to happen. Space is created. Vast space, vast amount of space is created. 